The uh, following matters will come before the Review Licensing Commission today uh, at its regular meeting. The first item will be uh, Unifer Cifontes and Eden Lemus doing business as Buena Vista Taqueria at 63B Revere Beach Boulevard. Uh, this is an application of a change of DBA for a common victualless license. The application of Jennifer Cifontes and Eden Lemus, DBA Buena Vista Taqueria, Edwin Lemus manager for a change of DBA from Ike's Seafood and Grill. Is there anybody speaking on behalf of the application? Good afternoon. And your name, sir? Eden Lemus. And what are, you, what are you planning to do here, sir? Changing the name and a few items in the menu. Anything to do with the hours or anything like that? I want to ask if I can close a little later. If I can do it sometimes till 2 in the morning. You, you, uh, yes, you'd have to apply to change the hours separately for that, so you can't change okay. the hours. So name him. Uh, so the you name just is want to change the name? Today. What is it? You just want to change the name? Yes. Okay. Uh, any other proponents on that measure? Hearing and seeing none, are there any opponents? Hearing and seeing none. Do my colleagues have any questions? Um, who was the, um, the owner before you? Now, you have a new owner yes, asking sir. for a brand new common vigil license. Yes, yes, I'm a new owner. So, and who was the owner before you? Um, Sotirios something. I, I don't remember his um, last name, but we using uh, his name on the uh, business. That's why we want to change it. You were using his name, yes, because I think he was here last year. Yeah, and yeah. you took it over from him. Yeah. They, they used to call uh, Ixi Food and Grill. Right. Okay, so everything will say the same, and the menu, again, is, um, what kind of menu are you changing to? Uh, we're going to still with the uh, American food, like burgers, fries, chicken wings, the uh, beach, uh, American food, like beach style, but we want to make it like, like a burrito place, tacos, quesadillas. Okay. Um. Because it was a seafood. And exactly. We, okay, and we we have all the inspectional services signed off on this to use the different grills. Because before it was seafood, so you have all the sign-offs. Right. Okay. Okay, so I guess that's all the agenda. Basically, is just the change of manager. Okay. I have no other questions. Uh, do I have? Uh, is there a motion? Is there any comments or proponents? They did that. I think we already asked that. Yes. Oh, um, I have no other questions. No other questions? No other questions. I'll make a motion to approve the name change. I'll second the motion. The motion to approve the name change from Ike's Seafood Grill to Buena Vista Taqueria is approved. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good luck. Uh, the next item, uh, the Beachmont Corporation, DBA Beachmont Roast Beef. This is an application for a change of hours for a common victualless license. Application of Beachmont Corporation, DBA Beachmont Roast Beef, Andy Ofanos, manager, for a change of hours, requested hours of operation from 6 a.m. to 1 a.m. Currently, the operating hours are 11 a.m. 
to 1 a.m. Is there anybody speaking on behalf of Beachmont Corporation? Ian Diafanos, um, I want to open up at 6 a.m. so I can do uh, breakfast sandwiches and serve coffee. I'm sorry? Yes, sir, I'm sorry. What was your name again? Andy Orfanos. You are Andy Orfanos. Yeah, I'm okay. the actual owner. Yep. And so you want to open up earlier to... Yeah, serve coffee, muffins, stuff like that, quick sandwiches on okay. the go. Um, any other changes to the restaurant or the facade? No, I'm just going to do like muffins and bagels, like simple stuff and uh, coffee, regular coffee. Very good. Are there any other proponents? Are there any opponents? Hearing and seeing none, do my colleagues have any questions? Um, no, I, I, I can see the reasoning behind this um, with the train station right there. I mean, you're really not abutting any um, properties, uh, homeowners there that I can think of, maybe one. But um, no, I don't see any problem. I'm not sure what time Dunkin' Donuts opens. Does anybody, John, my colleague? Yeah, yeah. I think it opened up earlier, I think, at 5. They open up at 5. Yeah, yeah. but I think they the only concern I have is that, you know, when on, in front of the station, it, you know, that, that through traffic is supposed to take a right. And when you open at 6, I got a feeling there'll be people stopping in front of that, you know, that, that right turn only. Yeah, because like they do that for the T. They stop yeah, no, there and pick get up worse. people. That's the only thing but I have a parking lot so they can, Yeah, so it's know. the only thing that could be an issue. But other than that, I... It'd be great to grab a breakfast sandwich in the morning before you jump Yeah, on a lot the train. of customers asked if I was willing to do that, and yeah. since they asked, I said, why not? I have no objections. Very good. I have no questions. Um, do I have a motion? I have no questions. I, I you know, where you are and not uh, butting any residents, um, I have no problem. And with the train station, I'm sure a lot of people like to grab something to eat. So I have no objections. And if no one else does, I will make a motion to approve. I'll second the motion. Thank you. Motion to approve the application for a change of hours for a common victualers license for Beachmont Roast Beef is approved. The requested hours of operation will be from 6 a.m. to 1 a.m. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Item number three, Revere Restaurant Group Incorporated, DBA Tio Juan's Margaritas Mexican Restaurant. This is an application for a change of manager. Application of Revere Restaurant Group, DBA TO1 Margaritas Mexican Restaurant, David Jordan Manager, for a change of manager from Ryan O'Leary. Are you speaking on behalf of the application, I am. sir? And state your name, please, for the David record. Jordan. Very good, sir. And what, what are the plans here? I, um, I, I came from uh, Margaritas in Manchester, New Hampshire and transferred down to the Revere location. Um, so now I'm, uh, Ryan is no longer with the company. Okay. Um, I have no other questions for... That was my only question, if you had experience, but I guess you're already working at one of the chains. So no, I have no questions. Um, are there any other proponents? Hearing and seeing none. Are there any opponents? Hearing and seeing none. John, do you have any questions? No questions, but I'm impressed he's got a, he's got a resume here. So far, the manager of restaurants, not a bad thing to bring it in with the application. So shows your qualifications, so that's a good job. But I have no questions other than that comment. Very good. Do I have a, a motion here? I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second the motion. Thank the you. motion is approved to uh, an application for a change of manager. The application of Revere Restaurant Group, DBA T01 Margaritas Mexican Restaurant, David Jordan Manager is approved for the change. Thank you very much. Thank you. Item number four. Uh, this is an application by Melvin M. Sanchez, DBA Mel's Barbershop. Sorry. Uh, 
Once again, item four, Melvin M. Sanchez, DEA Mel's Barbershop. This is a uh, application for a uh, license for a pool table. Uh, the application of Melvin M. Sanchez, DBA Melvin's Barbershop, for a pool table license to be exercised at 810D Washington Avenue. Requested license is for one pool table. Yes. Uh, are you speaking on behalf of the applicant, sir, and your name? Yeah. Melvin Sanchez. The address. Just state your name and address on the record. And your address? 810 to Washington Avenue. Thank Thank you very much, sir. And can you explain what you'd like to do here? Yeah, I would like to put a pool table in the back of the barbershop so I can entertain the clients while they're waiting for their cuts so they can, you know, have some, let's say, fun and enjoy themselves, you know. That's, that's all I need. Now, is this going to be a um, coin-operated pool table or a non-coin-operated pool oh, table? Oh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, it all depends, you know. Uh, what am I going to do? Probably I can put one with a coin operator or maybe um, just free so they can, you know, hang out, you know, while they're waiting for their cuts. Because I have all the barbers, you know, while they're waiting, their turn, they can play, and that's it, they just go. Cool. But I don't think that it's going to be with coin operator because that's something for them so they can, you know, have something to do while, they, while they're waiting. Well, that would, that's my... Excuse me. That would be a different license. That would be an amusement license. Coin operated would have to apply for an amusement license which would kind of cover uh, several different amusement devices. So I probably, myself, wouldn't go along with something like that, a coin-operated machines. Give me just one second. Oh, that's fine. No coin-operated. It's just a different license, that's all. Just, just a different license. Now, sir, uh, do you plan uh, on purchasing this pool table yourself? Are you going to own the pool yes. table? Yes, yes. And how how big of a space uh, is your is your shop it's, currently? It's it's pretty big, you know. Um, I don't know like how big it is, but uh, I have I have like a waiting area with couches. I have uh, four chairs on like straight on the row, and I have the back part that it's totally empty. It's like uh, something. Like a room. Another it's like it's like a room, like something like this big, like that, you know, from here down to the. Now, do you have parking with your establishment? Is there parking? Um, there is a parking lot, like uh, right on the rear. This is a street that goes all the way down. People can park in this building. Um, it's allowed to park in Walgreens, too. And what else is in the plaza with you? What other stores uh, are there? There is a nail place, um, Chinese nail place. Um, there is a Mellow's Bakery. Um, and there's, a, there's another hair salon. My, my fear is that people will come in and they'll be hanging around playing pool and you'll be kind of clogging up the spaces and having more people hang around and attracting more people to the area. Because the thing is that it's just only for clients that be waiting now for people that I want to just play pool table and I want to be here and just for people that especially waiting for the haircuts, you know, because I don't want people around just wasting time. I don't, that's not my plan. That's, that's why I would like to put everything in order, you know, since the beginning. Do my colleagues have any other questions? I do. <laughs> you know, many years ago we had pool parlors in the, uh, in the city, and I'm sure my colleagues remember that. And if I'm not mistaken, I probably should have got a ruling on this before the meeting today. There was a moratorium put on pool tables. And I know in the past year there has been one or two given out under different circumstances. The problem I have with a barbershop is, I think it's a great idea, you come up with a great idea, but I think your idea is going to spread throughout the whole city, and every barbershop is going to want to have pool tables. And I just don't see um, the use. It's two totally different uses, a, a, a pool table, a, uh, and we know sometimes very competitive pool tables. You're in a residential area again, and um, I, for one, I just couldn't go along with a pool table at a barbershop. And I know we'll have them lined up next month um, to have them. But I, I just don't see you go in, you get your hair cut, people are there 
half hour maybe, um, they're in and out, but to go in, and you're talking, you have a barber shop, you have a back room. I have a so back room. So they can go in the back room they and play can go pool. They in there, yeah. yes. I, um, for me, it wouldn't be something that I think would be good use for the city revere. And also, um, to start this at pool tables in barber shops, I don't think it's something that I would be able to go along with. Although your idea was great, but I, um, I couldn't go along with that. John, do you, uh, do you have any other? Yeah, I mean, it is an interesting concept. I mean, usually barber shops aren't big enough for a pool table, but I've been in there. You've been in there. And, and it, it can't accommodate a pool table. It's going to be like a private room. Like, oh, there'll be a back room? room? Private room? Yeah, it, has, it even has the door. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, have, yeah. That's even, even worse. Yeah, that's that's probably not a good thing. I mean, I, I'm sure your intentions are good. I can see that. Like, I've been seeing it online. Let's say I've been seeing it online, like barbershop with a pool yeah. table. Yeah, so yeah, I don't yeah. know what you know, what state, whatever. But um, I've been seeing barbershop. I say I can't come up with that idea. I can attract more clients. It's uh, still a new, a new business. It has nine months and a half already, and it's growing already. Sure, but, uh, sure. Maybe yeah. putting a pool table can bring me more. More business, no. you know, it's not about that I'm going to charge money for people to play, it's just something. So this is going to be in a, in, in a back room, yeah. closed off. Oh, probably it can be in the front because this, that barbershop is huge. I can move that pool table and put it like in the front, what you know, the by the couches, like so that people can see it, you know. Correct. It's not Correct. about that. It has to be right there. I have, it's, it's empty right now. Correct. You know, Correct. I can put it right there or I can put it in the front so people can see, you know, it's not something that it needs to be hidden. Right, right, right. That was an option that I, you know, that I just talk about. Okay, I have a private room, but if it doesn't work right there, I can move that forward to the front, like where I am. So I can see everything, you know, every little details, what's going on, what's happening. Mm. I don't know, because I think that's going to help my, my business, because when I first opened, it was that area was super slow. I thought that I was gonna have to close. So and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, in the last few months, the barbershop has been picking up a little bit more. And I said, let me just trying to come up with new ideas. What can I do to make this business su successful? It probably would help your business because and that's what people are gonna say. Close. We can go to his barbershop because we're gonna play pool. So, and, you so, know, pool games last a long time. It's not 20 minutes. I'm sorry? Can I understand that? So I'm, I'm not totally against having the pool table there. I think when you said, you know, originally I thought it was going to be that open area, because I've been in there. It's a good lot of space. But now, then you said it might be in the back room. And in the application, there's no, usually when someone wants to put any physical furniture, amusement or whatever, there's a layout, pictures, and <coughs> wherever it's going to go. That doesn't... Yeah, yeah. I maybe she didn't ask or whatever. Typically, you know, we right when it's a layout, so we know. Because if we said yes, so we didn't ask the question about the back room, which I don't, I don't want that. I wouldn't approve that. The one if it's up front, in the front, yeah, then I would. Have, but I, I think you got to come back with something in, in writing that where it's physically, so we can hold you to it. Right now, you have nothing. That's that's where I'm going with because this. I didn't. I really didn't. You follow I me? Didn't know about that. Either. Correct. Correct. And I don't think it's a, you have to, but for us to, for yeah. me anyway, I'd like to see something, what it's going to look like. Okay. Because, again, backroom stuff is backroom stuff. We, you know, see no evil, hear no evil, that kind of thing. You speak no evil. So I don't, I, I'm not in favor of that, but if you lay it out and come back with something, then I could, I'll, I'm more open-minded than maybe my colleagues. I don't know. I'd like to ask just one more question, sir. Do you have any kind of entertainment there now? Do you have TV? No, do you just have a, TV. a radio? Oh, so just you do. TV so you have and a, uh, the speaker for some music. And, and you got the music it. and the TV. That's all I have. Okay, I just want to make sure because you can apply for that. Um, you know, have that there. Okay, I was just curious. For a pool table, sorry, for a pool table license to be exercised at 810D Washington Avenue, do I hear a, do I have a motion on this? I, I'm not going to make a motion to, I am going to make a suggestion, not a motion, suggestion. 
if you want to continue to pursue that, I will have an open mind if you want to come back with something more specific, details, maybe hours of operation when you're going to have it used versus just having a pool table, then I would be open to looking at it for next meeting. So I'm not going to reject it. I'm rejecting it as is, the application, yes. as is. Well, I'm going to make a motion to deny, only because I guess my feelings are pool tables in a barber shop. Just uh, the two uses are so different. I just I could not go along with pool tables. And again, you do have a back room, you have the space, but there's many barber shops in the city, and because of your great idea, they'll probably all be up but, here asking but, for pool tables. But no, many barber shops have this space that I have. Probably they have. But you have, have a back room. You're asking for back room pool table, but again, sir. I think it's a great idea, and, and I certainly would like to see your, your business grow. But for me, pool tables, I can't go along with it. So mine would be a motion to deny. Um. I mean, I think it's a great idea, unfortunately, not in that location. <laughs> I'm going to second the motion, sir, and deny the application today. However, I would uh, suggest that you do as the, uh, my fellow commissioners suggested, come up with a, a more detailed floor plan and a little bit better uh, understanding of what, what we're going to do there going forward, and then we we'll, we'll reconsider it. But right. for right now, the application for the uh, pool table is denied. And also at this time, I'd like to make a motion that we get a ruling from the city solicitor if there is still a moratorium on pool tables in the city review. Because I know one time there was, and I'm, I'm not sure. So I'm going to make that in the form of a motion. I'll second that motion. Thank That's you. Unanimous. That motion will carry to have the city solicitor give us a ruling regarding the moratorium against pool tables uh, in the city of Revere. Thank you. Um, item number five, Hakai Corporation, DBA Pizza Days. This is an application for a change of corporation. Uh, application of Hakai Corporation, DBA Pizza Days, for a change of corporation from Pizza Days Inc. Corp corporate principles to remain the same with the addition of one new officer director. Hello, sir. Hi. Uh, Hello. State your name and address for the record, please. My name is uh, Mehmet Ojan Tokatlı. And uh, this is a change in which I became a partner, 50% partner of this branch. But that's why we changed the company. So we, we are keeping everything same. We, are not, we don't change anything, just the name of the corporation. And the addition of the one new corporate officer and director, who would 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 that be? Uh, Hasan Koyun, you mean the manager, or additional uh, my partner? You mean? But you're adding another officer. Well. I, I have. Asking. It's him. Uh, my partner. Very good, sir. My partner. Um, are there any other proponents to this? Application? Hearing and seeing none, are there any opponents? Hearing and seeing none, do my colleagues have any questions? I have no questions. Just, just change the corporate office. Oh, okay. uh, we have no, no questions, sir. Um, do we have a motion? Motion to approve. I'll second. Uh, that motion is carried unanimously. Uh, the motion for Hakai Corporation DBA Pizza Days for a change of corporation from Pizza Days Inc. Uh, the corporate principles to remain the same with the addition of one new officer director is approved. Thank Th you. Sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Item number six: Argana Cafe Corp. DBA Argana Cafe 
139-141 Shirley Avenue, Saad Abid and Mohammed Frifar are the managers. This is an application to transfer a communal victuals license. The application of Argana Cafe Corp, DBA, Argana Cafe, Saad Abid and Mohammed Frifar managers for transfer of a common victuals license from the Mediterranean Cafe LLC to be exercised at 139 141 Shirley Avenue. Requested hours of operation are Sunday through Saturday, 5.30 a.m. to 2 a.m. Requested seating is 36. I may I have your, your name and address for the record, please, sir? Yes, my name is Stephen Murray. I'm an attorney with an office at 108 Square in Revere. And this is Saad and this is Mohammed. Very good. And what are your plans for this uh, particular location, sir? Well, uh, the current establishment is Mediterranean Cafe, and they're looking to just continue that type of uh, operation, which is a pastry, bakery, some sandwiches, coffees, things like that. So not making any changes to the menu or the operation, just changing the owners and the managers. And what are their current hours of operation? Well, as you, as you, as you set forth, um, 5.30 to 2 a.m. I think that um, the resident one, the rest okay. All right. Um, do any of my, do my colleagues have any yes, questions? I have a couple of questions. Um, I know the business, uh, you can't blame the new owners coming in, but the business before uh, that was running there, they had some problems, um, late hours and early morning. It's highly residential where this business is, and I do understand that's where the Uber drivers meet in the morning at this location, and they're there till 2 and after 2 o'clock at that location. So I'm very concerned. I did get some calls from some area residents that the, the early hours, unfortunately, uh, we had already given the hours out to the previous uh, party that came up. But I want to know what you're going to do about handling the problems of these Uber drivers first thing in the morning. And then, you know, you're talking 2 in the morning and you want to open at 5, so you, you're saying you only want to close 3 hours a day. <laughs> so it seems like an awful long time for high residential and the... Um, you know, the cars and, and the Uber drivers, which I've gone by and, you know, they seem to meet there and wait for their calls in that area. I, I, I uh, my name is Saad. I talked to Mr. Ira uh, Novozelski yesterday. He stopped by and we talked about this actually. And um, actually we already talked to people to not stand outside anymore and to stay inside. And this is just during the, this month of Ramadan, which is like, uh, uh, like most of our clients are Moroccan community and Chileans, and they do fast during this month, so they only eat at night. They come for for the last meal, which is you know like uh, before the before the sunrise. And we talk to them. We try to keep the clean the area clean. We talked uh, to Mr. Ayat to get the barrels, keep the. Uh, if we try to keep everyone inside and this is going to be just as i said one month like during a year and uh after that we're going to be probably closing around midnight one and most but people they don't come like they stop coming like regular days people stop coming at 10 10 p.m so you're saying during ramadan this is why the uber drivers are there yeah they come day just, and night well just during ramadan just during ramadan so then Mostly at night after Ramadan's over, they're leaving? Well, after Ramadan, nobody's going to come because it's going to be, nobody's going to be fasting during the day. So, you know, like people come at night because they're starving. I mean, they want to eat something before they I start. I understand that. Know? We had another business come in and we extended right. their hours for the holiday. But this isn't just during Ramadan. This has been going on for over a year now. That's with, why we come with in the with the new So we can't blame the holiday on this particular issue because this has been going on for quite a while and the board had uh, spoke with them and as you said Councilor Ira Nowosowski went and spoke with them right. and the previous owner didn't seem to um, have a problem with cleaning it up he just uh, right. but well, never did it. We come in with the new management with new plans we're trying to
keep people like yeah. inside so the I, shop, not now outside the shop. So I get. I guess where I'm going with this is, um, you know, we can always call you back as far as hours. They can be changed every month. I guess where I'm going with this is that five o'clock, five thirty is a little early for me, being the residential and the Uber drivers coming first thing in the morning. You know, those cars, and they, they probably aren't as loud as it sounds in people's homes because it's always louder when you're sleeping, and at 5 o'clock it's no, a I totally loud. understand. So I guess that's where I'm going, that very early opening in a residential area. Okay. But And, and I do look forward to working with you, but honestly, if it doesn't quiet down, I would like to have you back and maybe... And colleagues, we can work with you on something else because the noise that's going on right there now just can't continue. No, we'll make sure we work on that. Okay. So you're well aware of it. You know mm -hmm. what's going on. So I'm not bringing anything to your that's attention. That's with the old management, with the old owners. Right now, it's not happening anymore. We already talked to them, and it's not happening. Have you been there? How long have you been there now? Oh, we've been like there for like the past month just as training and, and working with uh, Mr. Bushamowitz, who's the older owner. So, so in the past month, yeah. people is, have complained in the month, though. That's what I'm Ramadan. saying. Okay. So, but they're still complaining. And I know the holidays, any holiday, you know, but it's still, regardless of what the holiday is, we have to be respectful of the, uh, the neighbors. Yeah. So if you've been there a month and you've already had people come and tell you that there's a problem, what have you done in a month? <laughs> It's well, still the same. Well, because we came in Ramadan, like we took over in well, Ramadan, so that's okay. That's, that's okay, I'll go along with you for the holiday, and, and this board has been very good to um, other restaurants that want to extend their hours for the holiday, but I am very concerned about the 5 o'clock or 5.30 we'll sure opening. From what I understood, from what Saad said, the councilman just came the other day and told him yes. about this issue, so although he's, although he's maybe been in there training for the past month, it's just come to his attention recently, and I, I believe when he says that he's now aware of the situation, you know, do everything he can to correct it so that he doesn't get brought back before the board. Well, I'm glad he's very honest about the Uber drivers, because I expect him to say they weren't going to his place. So <laughs> I, I respect you yeah, for, for exactly. admitting that. So not that there's anything wrong with them, but again, we're here to protect the whole city. Sure. You know, My office so. is right up the street from here, so. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you could, the old the old place has been running from 5.30 to 2 a.m., or is that it's always been running at that time, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you guys just started taking it over recently. Correct. Okay. And you're saying most of this has been Ramadan issues uh, right. because of Ramadan. Okay. So, I mean, hats off to you to have an operation open, tw what is it, 21 hours a day, 21 and a half hours, whatever that number is. Um, so, you know, it is a commercial area. Um, people live there, must understand that. Yeah, we don't want a lot of noise, havoc. You, you, should, you should control the area. Um, but yeah, if there's continued complaints, we're, we're definitely going to have you revisit this. But right now, I'm okay with the transfer. Um, and um, as long as you're aware that we're aware that we could have you hit it back if we get a, continue to get complaints, and we'll know. You know there's no hiding that. So I'm, uh, that's all I have to say about that. Very good. We'll close that portion of the meeting. Are there any other proponents? Hearing and seeing none. Are there any opponents? Hearing and seeing none. Do I have a motion? I'm going to make a motion to approve the transfer. Call and your license and uh, allow the hours 5.30 to 2 a.m. with the requested seating of 36. Um, I'll, I'll, with the, um, you know, you know, awareness by all that if there is a like, you know, a disruptance in the area and constant complaints, um, you would come back for a, a review. Um, so I'm making that motion. Okay, and on the dumpster issue, you said you've taken care of that? You had yes, the dumpster issue? Well, as I said, I talked to uh, Mr. Ira, and he's working, so we can, just in the parking lot, trying to get the, uh, like, barrels, like big barrels, we're going to paint them. You know, we already clean the area every, every night. We have our guys to clean. They go like in the back in the parking lot and clean the whole area. And I do. I appreciate that you're trying, but I, I also appreciate that you say it's done. You it know, I, I would like to see it cleaned up. There's a lot of problems there. I will second the motion. I, I was going to make a, a substitute motion that um, I would approve uh, the application and, and an opening of uh, 630 because 
when you say you're opening at 530, you're really going in there at what time to open and get ready. Right. So we're talking now 4 o'clock in the morning, 430. So I still think it's very early um, because of the hours. You, you know, you're not going to walk in at 530 and open the business. So the cars are now coming again at 4 o'clock, and um, so I, I will disagree with the hours, but I'll agree that I'm disagreeing, but I will go along with my commissioner's motion, and I will approve it as the hours are, but again, I have no problem calling you back in and trying to change the hours. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, that will be <clears throat> unanimous. The... Um, Application of Organic Cafe Corporation, Mo uh, Mohammed Freefar and Saad Abid for a transfer of common victuals license from Mediterranean Cafe LLC to be exercised at 139 141 Shirley Avenue with the requested hours of 5.30 a.m. to 2 a.m. and a requested seating of 36 is approved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is item number seven, Yaksh Inc., DBA Beachway Beer and Wine, 40 Furlong Drive, Shirag Patel, Manager. This is an application for a malt wine package store license. The application of Yaksh Inc., DBA Beachway Beer and Wine, Shirag Patel, Manager, for a malt wine package store license, said license to be exercised at 40 Furlong Drive, the hours of operation to be Sunday, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Are you here to speak on behalf of the uh, yes, good application, afternoon. sir? Yes. Please state your name and address for the record. Good afternoon. My name is Gregory DeMarcus. I have offices in Lynn at 56 Central Avenue in Lynn. To my left is uh, Shirag Patel. He's one of the two stockholders in New York, Inc. He's also the proposed manager. And this is Janessa Patel. She's the other stockholder. The two of them have set up this corporation. Um, the DBA is going to be Beachway Beer and Wine. They're going to lease space in the stop and shop on Furlong Drive. Uh, about 1,200 square feet of space they're going to lease. Um, they're going to sell beer and wine only, no other products. Um, as you said, they, they'd like to be open between 8 a.m. and 11 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, Mr. Chirag is a very experienced operator. He, he he's, has, owns other stores. Uh, he runs a first-place place operation. Um, Stop and Shop is excited to, to, to enter into uh, an agreement with them to sell beer and wine in their store. Um, we've notified the abutters, um, you know, so, you know we, we've enclosed the lease and all of the other information. I, th I think everything's in order, um, and we'll answer any questions that you may have. Do, um, do my colleagues have any questions? Quick question. So, the, the hours are, um, does the supermarket stay open till 11? 8 a.m. to 11, right. Okay. Oh, so There's only, we're going to be open until the hours don't stop Okay. Oh, right, so oh, not to exceed any hours that stop and okay. shop is open. Yeah, right. just, it does say it's 8 to 11, Saturdays, you know, 10 to 11 on Sunday. Yeah, so Saturdays through Friday. Friday. I just, I didn't realize they were open that late, but if they're not open, obviously you're not going to be open. Interesting. So you said you had an agreement with Stop and Shop. You yes. Guys? Okay. Um, what is our license, beer and wine license status availability now? No issues. Because I. Right now, I have no other questions. Um, sir, now are you going to have a separate entrance and egress here, or are you going to be going in through the stop and shop? Into the stop and shop. There's one entrance inside the stop and shop, and there's going to be another entrance to enter 
So with the hours of operation of food by the city, you could keep the doors closed until the time we could open up. Very good. Now these other liquor stores that you have in Lynn, are they also within um, no. stores? These are freestanding um, liquor stores? The one I own is in Brookline. Not in Lynn, right, in Brookline. Yeah, in Brookline, my partner here has a store in Lynn. Uh, excuse me. Excuse J me. Janessa sir. has Could a store. Could you please speak into the microphone? Okay. I don't even think Janessa's name is. Yes. So I have a store in Brookline, and my partner here has a store in uh, Lynn. And they're, they own a store that's in a, in a plaza, and I, I have a store in Brookline that's attached to TJ Maxx. You have no other liquor licenses in the city, Revere? No. No. None of us do. Um, sir, when I was in, in looking at your application, you list that you have no other interest in any other liquor licenses in the Commonwealth, and you list R&C liquor and Shakan liquor, but I don't see any listing for a place in Brookline. No, it's listed. Um, it should be there. Yeah, no, I, 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 it's, it's listed. It's, um, yeah, I, I see it right here. Uh, um, Arvind and Pushpa Corp. Arvind and Pushpa Corp. DBA Mall discount liquor is 525 Harvard Street. And, uh, it's on page four. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Thank you, sir. Okay. So who, who is going to be running the, uh, the business? If you have other liquor establishments or package uh, store licenses, they are package store, excuse me. Did you say they were package store licenses? The one in Brookline is package store. The one in Lynn is package store as well. And so then who will be running the one here on for a long drive? Uh, the Brookline store, I, uh, I, I have my dad, who's, uh, who's also approved for manager to be, if I'm not there, he's running the store when I'm not there. So as a new operation comes in, he's going to be taking control of that store. And I'm going to put 15 hours in the Brookline store and over 35 hours in the Rivera store. And my partner here, she's going to, the time I'm not going to be there, she's going to be uh, in charge while I'm not there. Okay. And you're saying this is all closed off from any um, minors going near the alcohol or? What is it? You have it petitioned off from the rest of the store? Um, yes. Yes. Well, you, you enter mm -hmm. into the premises from the stop and shop, but they're tip certified, and you know they they and obviously no miner should be going into the store at like, all because this just sells products beer and wine. For right. Well, that's what I'm saying. So it is, it's blocked off from anybody walking in there. It's Except not accessible the to the kids. People can walk in there. Oh, absolutely. But yeah. I'm saying it's not accessible to children just no. going in. No. Like I'm I'm in a high college dance area in Brookline and we're, we're very strict for IDs and everything because it's just very college student and like the rules and regulation we take it very serious about who, well this who board is. does too <laughs> yes yes definitely that's why because as being close to the beach uh, Rivera Beach it, it makes it more attracts more young people to be in, coming inside so we're, we're going to be very serious about, do you guys, about the rules. Do you guys use the, um, the license reader? Or do you just do? I, do, you, do you use a scanner? Do you have a, a scanner? Have a scanner. You do. Okay. No. Uh, I have Seems like no other questions. Are there any other proponents? Hearing and seeing none, I will close that side of the hearing. Are there any opponents? Hearing and seeing none. Do we have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second the motion. That'll be unanimous. The motion is approved Thank for you. Thank you. Thank you. the application for a malt wine package store license. 
the application of Yaksh Inc. DBA Beachway Beer and Wine, Shirik Patel Manager for a beer and wall, a beer, a malt and wine package store license, said license to be exercised at 40 Furlong Drive, the hours of operation to be Saturday, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. The first one was Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, right? 10 a.m. Sunday, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. Yes. to 11 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. Item number eight, the application was withdrawn. We have communication. A notice of suspension from Massachusetts AB, the Alcoholic Beverage Control Commission of RK and E Corp, DBA BK's Bar and Grill, for permitting gambling. Suspension is for five days, of which two will be served on July 5th and 6th, 2017. The license holder may petition to pay a fine in lieu of suspension. Licensee is not permitted to possess automatic amusement devices or video poker machines. Number two, notice of continued hearing from the ABCC to determine if the Sons of Revere, LLC, DBA, the Sons of Revere, has violated laws and regulations by permitting gambling. The hearing date will be Tuesday, was Tuesday, June 6th at 2.30 p.m. Number three, notice of suspension from the Massachusetts Alcoholic Beverage Control Commission of Revere Lodge of Elks, number 1171 of the BPOE of USA for permitting gambling. Suspension is for five days of which two will be served on July 12th and 13th, 2017. The license holder may petition to pay a fine in lieu of suspension. Late communication, notice of accepted offer and compromise in lieu of suspension for Revere Lodge 1171 of the BPOE of USA, which announced their suspension. Late communication, notice of rejected offering compromise in lieu of suspension for RK and E Corp, TBA BK's Bar and Grill, which maintains their suspension. And that is the end of the communications. We have one late license renewal for 2017. This is a common victualers license, the Good Diner LLC at 361 Broadway and the Casablanca House of Pastry, Inc. at 60 Shirley Avenue. Our next meeting is what? July 19th. Uh, before, before we conclude, I would like to, to make a motion before the License Commission. I would like to make a motion to have the people responsible for the parking at a Wonderland dog track to come before the commission to explain what they plan on doing with their cars, what their intentions are going forward. And I'd like to have them come to the next meeting so we can discuss that and find out exactly what they're doing over there. Can I get a second on that motion? I respect your motion, Commissioner, but again, I feel the mayor has had them in this week. There was a large article in the Globe this week who says they are moving their, their cars and where they are not holding a license. And I, for one, am in 100% agreement. They are in violation of any city permits, but the permit has to come before the city council. And I, I for one, would love to see all the cars gone, but I, I just don't think that calling them here, they've been before the city council, the building department's been down there, the mayor's been down there, and I would, I would like to put this back in the front office of the mayor, and as I can see, he's getting somewhere with them. A lot of the cars have been moved. So to call them in, I personally am going to uh, be opposed to that. But my caller got to take the next caller. Um, 
Yeah, I've thought about it. I, I'm not happy with, um, obviously, as everyone, all my colleagues and the most city people in the city aren't happy with um, having all those cars there. And um, I think there's been a lot of work done at this point with the city council. They've been in front of the city council, been working with the mayor. I want that to work its way through before they come here. Uh, at this point, um, I'm not in favor of them coming in front of the board at this point. So I'm going to say um, I'm not going to I'm not going to vote for that approval um, at this time. Very good. I would like to respectfully disagree with the commissioners. I think it is incumbent on the commission to do whatever they can to make people comply with the ordinances, rules, laws of the city. By forcing them to come before the licensing commission, the licensing commission is doing everything in its power to ensure that people are complying. I respectfully disagree with my colleagues and the motion does not pass. The next meeting will be on July 19th at 3 p.m. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. <laughs>